The Washington Post is reporting that Mitt Romney is considering a third-party run for president. Just can't help himself. So The Hill explains here, Mitt Romney met this week with Bill Kristol, Mr. Wrong About Every Prediction He's Ever Made Ever, uh, who is pushing for a third-party alternative to Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. He said, quote, He came pretty close to being elected president, so I thought he may consider doing it, especially since he has been very forthright in explaining why Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton should not be president of the United States. It was not like you should do it. I wouldn't presume he'd do it, but I'm hoping that he begins to think about it a little more. His name is one of the names part of the discussion. Okay, so this is really interesting, man, because even if Romney doesn't run third party, the Republican establishment, there's some people in the Republican establishment who are going to want somebody to run third party who will represent the Republican establishment. So many of them don't like Donald Trump. Many of them, honestly, are going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Many neoconservatives are going to vote for Hillary Clinton. As they've said, establishment Republicans, some of them are going to vote for Hillary Clinton. But there are going to be some of them who are just like, I, I don't know, I got nobody. I hate Donald Trump and I hate uh, Hillary Clinton. So that opens the door for some sort of establishment Republican to step in and run third party. Now, I think they'd get their ass handed to them no matter what. But the really fascinating scenario is, if that happens, if there's some sort of establishment Republican figure that runs third party, you know what that does, right? That opens up the door for Bernie Sanders to run also. Now, assuming obviously everything goes the way it goes, and that indeed we do have in the general election, bar any convention hoopla nonsense, we do have Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump, and then you have a Republican step in as a... a it, for an independent run, Bernie can do the same thing then. Now, I don't think there's any way, honestly, that Bernie would run third party if it's Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. Bernie would not be the first one to step in and say, I'm going to run also, because it's just math that that would hand the election over to the Republican. That's just how what would happen. The, the Democratic vote would be split between two people, and that would have the Republican win probably in a landslide victory. So, but I think... Bernie would certainly consider it and maybe would even do it if you have this, you know, uh, third party candidate on the Republican side step in. There are going to be people, if that were to happen, if that were to unfold, there are going to be people in the Democratic establishment who would scream, the Democratic Party loyalists, you just lost us the election. Because obviously, if you have, let's say, Mitt Romney versus, uh, Mitt Romney versus Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton, Romney and, and Trump split the vote on the Republican side, although I think Trump gets many more votes than Romney, and then Hillary would win. But Bernie could, could ruin that, and he could step in, and uh, honestly, if it's a four-way race, does Bernie Sanders have a shot at winning? Fuck yeah, he does. And everybody might say, well, Kyle, come on. Hillary, as of right now, has two million more votes than, than Bernie Sanders, so how the fuck can you say that? Well, it's easy. Many of these primaries didn't allow independence. When you allow independence, Bernie almost always wins. So, independence in many states, including my own state, they were shut out of the process. And in those states, Hillary was more likely to win. But when you allowed independence to vote, and in general elections, independents are allowed to vote in every single state, well, then Bernie Sanders wins. And on top of that, you look at some national polls now, and he's beating Hillary Clinton. Never mind the fact that he beats the Republican candidates always by a wider margin than Hillary Clinton. So if you have a Republican, a third party Republican hop in the race, an independent run from an establishment Republican, then I think Bernie should get in the race. And I think he'd have a very, very good chance at winning. So, uh, but a lot, you know, a lot would, would, it would be dependent on a lot though. So you'd have to have, you know, open and fair debates, which is a huge question mark. You have to have the him allowed to get on the ballot in every single state, which again is a big question mark because the way our system is set up, the two parties would try to shut out any independent run. So it would be difficult, but it certainly would be possible. And uh, it's definitely a scenario to think about. But I just want to say uh, in conclusion here, <laughs> do you have any idea how horribly Mitt Romney would lose if he ran third party? Dude. Like, they don't get it. The Republican establishment doesn't get it. They are the only ones who are not satisfied with Trump on the right. It's the Republican establishment. 
They're the ones, the, the, the elite Republicans, the moneyed interests, the Wall Street connected Republicans. The Republican base, they're smitten with him. Regardless of what you've heard, they are smitten with him. That's why he won in a crushing fashion. I mean, he curb stomped his way to the nomination. The idea that there's some sort of deep dissatisfaction with him. Only, you know, his unfavorables are high only when you poll the entire country for a general election. But so are Hillary Clinton's. So, yeah, he's disliked, but he got so many more votes than everybody else. So this idea that Mitt Romney's going to step in and be a savior and he'll get a lot of votes. <laughs> He would get destroyed and it would be glorious because yet again, you'd have that Bill Crystal bubble uh, popping. How every, after every single debate, every single, uh, you know, primary, peak Trump, peak Trump, peak Trump, he's done, he's done, he's done. And he would just be wrong every single time. It'd be the same thing here. He'd be out there saying, Mitt Romney's going to win this election and Mitt Romney would get negative 18% in the vote. It would be glorious.